It's Candice Wrestling! The following contest is an eight-woman battle royal. Making his way to the ring from Anaheim, California, Candice LeRae. I've figured out what the WWE Universe sees in Candice LeRae. They all feel bad for her. I feel bad. What are you talking about? She it's... is married to that nerd, Johnny oh, Wrestling. They, just stop. No, they see someone, Corey, who is absolutely passionate about living out her dream job. It's a global pity party. From Detroit, Michigan, Alice N. K. And from London, England, Noah Samuels. Oh, yeah, I can't think of a better way to kick off this night. I don't know. Part of me hoped Saxon would have gotten lost on the way to the announce table. That definitely would have made things better. But no such luck. Sounds to me, guys, like this crowd is ready to get this night started. They're not the only ones, Cole. It seems to me that these superstars want nothing more than to get their hands on one another. Guys, we're getting the night started with an amazing matchup here. You're absolutely right, Cole. In fact, I don't think there's a better way to start this night than with this match right here.
from Tokyo, Japan, the Asian Nightmare, Zenda. What a great match we have here to start off this night, guys. And yeah, Michael, I had to check twice when I saw this match listed as our opener. I mean, it could very well have been our main event. From Newark, New Jersey, the Queen. Byron, as we get started here, tell me what's the best approach to take in a battle royal. Well, the first thing I would do is make some alliances and go after the biggest competitor. From there, I'd stay as far away from the ropes as possible. That's where all the trouble goes down. And their opponent, from San Diego, California, Tia Kidd. As we get started here, let me remind everybody that the only way to get eliminated from this battle royal is to get thrown over the top rope and have both feet touch the arena floor. And not only does it take a tremendous amount of skill to be successful in a battle royal, but there's also a good deal of luck that goes into it as well. Oh, nasty impact. Nailed it. Beautiful technique. What a stomp. Good grief. Point of the elbow. Nailed it. Nasty drop. Harsh impact. I think things are about to get turned upside down. I think you are correct. 
What a strike. Right in the jaw. Oh, what a shot. Oof. Beginning to look bad for her here. Well, you can bet she has plenty of fight in her. Ooh, what impact. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. Oh, what a punch. That's how you stop your opponent. Ooh, what impact. Harsh impact. She's starting to sweat a bit. By no means is this dire straits for her, though. How she responds to this is going to be very important moving forward. She simply cannot let it take her out of her game plan. Up and down. Oof. Having this pay-per-view here has to be a thrill for these fans. I can tell you that when Backlash came to Washington, D.C. in 2000, it wasn't all that far from me at the time. You couldn't go anywhere without hearing somebody talking about WWE coming to town. Close line over the top! Man, beautiful technique. This might be it! Oh, my! thinking to avoid that one. And that Backlash 2000 car that Byron brought up earlier might have been the most chaotic main event we've ever seen between The Rock and Triple H. And in the end, it was The Rock defeating the game for the WWE Championship, despite Mr. McMahon stacking the deck against The Rock in a major way, including naming Shane McMahon as the special guest referee. She is on fire! Boom! Oh, what impact! Shoulder right to the midsection. Right the jaw. Oh, what a shot. Close line. Ouch. Nailed it. Let's call it like it is, guys. It doesn't get much bigger than this. A featured match on a major WWE pay-per-view. This is huge for these superstars. Oh, close line. Big punch finds its mark. Oh, what a right. Man, that's some attitude behind it. Gut red suplex. Making it look easy. Using the elbow as a weapon. Look at her go. Lariat. Oh, oh alley power powerbomb. That might be it. The stop in the leg. Just nasty. Look at the look in her eyes. She's in the zone now. Oh, big slam. Close line. Uh-oh. Here we go. Oh, nasty impact. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. Big elbow. Clubbing blow to the back. I think she's trying to prove a point here. What a strike. She's starting to falter here. At this point, you have to wonder if she can recover from this. These women are so evenly matched right now, guys. I can very easily see this match going either way. Once again, thank you for tuning into this great women's matchup. She comes up big with the reversal. Oh, trying to dislocate the shoulder. Knife edge chop echoing through the arena. Knife edge chop echoing through the arena. What a stomp. Good grief. You gotta believe this one's over. Powerbomb planted. She's got her where she wants her. Hurry, right, pump handle. Pump handle coming. Suplex. This one is over. Talk about getting knocked into the middle of next week. She's not looking good here, guys. Man, she's got to get herself together here. That's it, the final elimination. This one's over. Let's take another look at what made that matchup so memorable. She's taking care of business. I really enjoyed every minute of this. Here is your winner, the Asian Nightmare, Zenda. Kicking off the night with an impressive victory. You have to give credit where credit is due. That was one of the gutsiest performances I've seen in a very long time. What a way to kick off tonight. Don't go anywhere, folks. We're just getting started.